today's video was requested by and me. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 7. BZ BZ is a glycolate anticholinergic that was invented in 1951 by Hoffman La Roche, a Swiss pharmaceutical company, when they were trying to develop antispasmodic medicine that bore a similarity to tropine. Ironically, tropine is often used to treat nerve gas attack victims. BZ generally has effects that are opposite to those of typical nerve agents as they decrease the levels acetylcholine, which is the body's off switch for glands and muscles. A perspective used as a weapon was the result of US military research into how hallucinogens could be used in chemical warfare. It has a relatively high safety margin, its main purpose being that of incapacitating the victim by tampering with crucial cognitive capacities such as problem solving, memory, comprehension, and attention. The effects on the victims include confusion, sedation, hallucination, delusion, loss of motor control, and unpredictable behavior. The psychoactive agent was nicknamed Buzz due to the effects it had on the minds of testing volunteers at Edgewood Arsenal in Maryland. BZ can be dissolved into solvents for ingestion or dispersed into an aerosolized form. It was reportedly used in the 2013 Galta chemical attack in Syria, which resulted in the deaths of between 281 to over 1,700 people. Number 6. Chlorine Gas According to a report from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, pulmonary irritating agents such as chlorine have been used in a systematic manner in a number of attacks. After Syrian President Bashar Hafez al-Assad pledged to relinquish the use of chemical weapons, its use has a dual nature in warfare and industry. This made detection of the stockpiles difficult in Assad's case. Despite multiple harmless uses such as bleach in cloth and paper or to make rubber, pesticides, solvents and to kill bacteria in swimming pools and water, chlorine can also be used as a chemical weapon. This potential was pioneered by Fritz Haber a German scientist who later became a Nobel laureate as means of attacking entrenched enemies. It was initially used by the Germans during World War I on the 22nd of April 1915 in the Second Battle of Ypres. Soldiers described its smell as a mixture of pepper and pineapple and stung the back of their chests and throats. Although not as dangerous as phosgene, it has lethal potential and acts in a similar fashion by attacking the respiratory system while also irritating the eyes and skin. By reacting with the water present in the mucosa of the lungs, it forms hydrochloric acid which destroys living tissue. Gas masks with charcoal or other filters can protect the human respiratory system from a potential chlorine gas attack. Number 5. Phosgene Phosgene was first used as a chemical weapon during World War I on the 19th of December 1915 when the Germans released 88 tons of the gas on British troops. It ultimately accounted for approximately 85% of the war's total chemical deaths, which were estimated at 100,000 people. Produced by Japan's Unit 731, it was frequently dropped on the Chinese by the Imperial Japanese Army during the Second Sino-Japanese War. It was discovered by chemist John Davy in 1812 after he exposed a mixture of chlorine and carbon monoxide to sunlight. Phosgene is an industrial chemical that is used in the making of pesticides and plastics. Although not as toxic as other chemicals that have been weaponized, phosgene is much easier to make. It's created by exposing chlorinated hydrocarbon compounds to high temperatures, which means that anyone can make it by placing chloroform under an ultraviolet light for a couple of days. It is volatile and its vapors are three times denser than air, meaning that it can linger in low-lying areas such as trenches. Phosgene attacks the lung tissue and works as a choking agent. Initial symptoms include nausea, coughing, choking, and tightness in the chest and may occur within minutes after exposure. Number 4. 
mustard gas. Also known as sulfur mustard due to its trademark rotten mustard, onion and garlic odor. Mustard gas is among the most effective chemical weapons because of its incapacity capacitating potential. Its first weaponized use took place during World War I when it was deployed by the German forces against Canadian and British troops in Belgium near Ypres in 1917. Mustard gas was also used in significant quantities in what is known as the largest chemical attack on a civilian area in history. The attack happened on the 16th of March 1988 when Iraqi troops Troops under Saddam Hussein dropped a series of chemical gas bombs on the Kurdish city of Halabja in southern Kurdistan during the final days of the Iran-Iraq war. It was considered a genocidal massacre that resulted in the deaths of 3,200 to 5,000 people and the injury of around 7,000 to 10,000 more, the majority of them being civilians. Even years after the attack, the area presented an increase in birth defects and cancer incidences. Mustard gas can be released on the battlefield through rockets, aerial bombs, artillery shells, or it can be sprayed from warplanes. It belongs to a group of blistering agents also known as vesicants. Mustard gas targets the skin, eyes, and respiratory tract, at first irritating and then slowly poisoning the body's cells. It is particularly gruesome to its gradual, slow-acting process. It dissolves rapidly in fat, therefore resulting in burning and intense pain with the formation of large blisters when coming in contact with the skin. Sulfur mustard has the potential of causing third-degree burns. The eyes can be severely damaged, resulting in tearing up, swelling, and temporary or even permanent blindness. When inhaled or ingested, the victim will experience sneezing, <laughs> coughing up blood, hoarseness, vomiting, and abdominal pain. According to a World War I nurse, they cannot be bandaged or touched. We cover them with a tent of propped up sheets. Gas burns must be agonizing because usually the other cases do not complain, even with the worst wounds. But gas cases are invariably beyond endurance and they cannot help crying out. Even if the initial effects are combated through neutralizing processes, like chlorination or oxidation, the victim still suffers from the mutagenic and carcinogenic effects, meaning that they present a higher risk of developing cancer. The fumes are six times heavier than air, meaning that in average weather conditions, it will linger for a couple of days and in a very cold weather from weeks to months. The agent can also be thickened by being dissolved in non-volatile solvents, which adds to its persistency. Mustard gas is also easier to produce than some chemical weapons and commonly has a longer shelf life. It penetrates through shoes, clothes, and other materials. Not even full protective gear is a total safety guarantee. In the Iran-Iraq war, for example, the gas seeped through the masks because the beards grown by young Iranians broke the seals of the masks. Number 3. Sarin Gas in its purest form as a nerve gas, sarin is 26 times more fatal than cyanide. It was developed in Germany in 1938 during a scientific research for pesticides. At room temperature, sarin is an odorless and colorless liquid. When heated, it evaporates quickly and it spreads into the environment quickly, becoming an immediate threat. Sarin is a very volatile, which means that it can easily turn from a liquid form to gas, making inhalation extremely dangerous. Vapor concentrations can penetrate the skin quickly. Even a non-lethal dose, if left untreated, may cause permanent neurological damage. It is highly toxic, whether breathing breathed in or by contact with the skin and a drop as small as a pinhead is enough to kill a human adult, typically in 1 to 10 minutes. A person's clothes can still release the gas for 30 minutes after coming into contact with it. 
Sarin works by interfering with the acetylcholine neurotransmitter at neuromuscular joints. It tampers with the signals that neurons transmit to muscle fibers. After exposure, initial symptoms include tightness in the chest, constriction of the pupils, and a runny nose. The next phase includes breathing difficulty, nausea, and drooling. This is followed by a gradual loss of bodily functions resulted in vomiting, urination, and defecation. Jerking and twitching occur before the person enters a comatose state and starts suffocating due to the convulsive spasms. Treatments include the antidotes, pralidoxime, atropine, and bipyridine, which if applied in time, may counteract the effects. Historically, sarin has been used as a weapon. In a 1995 Tokyo subway attack, it was used in liquid form by the Aum Shinrikyo sect, resulting in the death of 12 people. Sarin was also used in Syria in 2013 when specially designed rockets released sarin over the country's capital over rebel hell suburbs. In 2017, it was reportedly used in Syria again by the Syrian military in the rebel-controlled province of Idlib. Number 2. VX VX is short for Venomous Agent X, and in a weaponized form, it is considered to be a weapon of mass destruction and has been outlawed by the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993. It is considered to be among the most toxic man-made chemicals. VX works in a similar way to sarin but is more potent as fatalities can occur after absorption through the skin or inhalation of much lower quantities. The most dangerous aspect about VX is the fact that it persists in the environment after it is released instead of quickly evaporating. This happens because the vapors of this nerve agent are heavier than air. This property gives VX the potential of also being used as an area denial weapon, which means that military adversaries can be prevented from occupying or traversing an area through its deployment. Similar to sarin, VX affects the acetylcholine enzyme which acts as an on-off switch for the glands and muscles in the body. Molecules stimulate the muscles continuously, straining them once the enzyme is blocked. The disruption of signaling between the muscular and nervous systems causes the exposed to VX to ultimately experience death by heart failure or asphyxiation due to muscle spasms. VX is odorless and tasteless and may be released in aerosol and liquid form as a thickened agent in a mixture of talc or clay. According to the Federation of American Scientists, VX is a particularly toxic nerve agent. They stated that the doses that are potentially life-threatening may be only slightly larger than those produced producing least effects. Death usually occurs within 15 minutes after absorption of a fatal VX dosage. VX was developed by the UK in the 1950s during a pesticide research and has been used as a chemical weapon in several instances. The most recent reported use occurred in 2017 on the 13th of February when Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, was murdered through VX poisoning. The incident took place in Malaysia at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport and traces of VX were found on Kim Jong Nam's face. A woman was suspected of using two non-lethal components that when applied to Nam's face mixed together to form into VX. The suspect reportedly also showed symptoms of VX poisoning. Number 1 Novichok. In the 1970s and 1980s, the Soviet Union had reportedly developed a series of nerve agents that were named Novichok, which is Russian 
For newcomers, they came in more than 100 structural variants, the most promising of which was Novichok 5. They were designed with three major objectives, to be undetectable by NATO equipment, to be safer to handle, and to be able to defeat the chemical protection equipment used by NATO. All of the conditions had allegedly been met. In 1992, two Russian chemists, Vil Mazianov and Lev Fyodorov, disclosed the existence of the nerve agents. Mazianov said that he made the disclosure out of environmental concerns. He was the head of the counterintelligence unit tasked with making sure that foreign spies could not detect the facility where the Russian military chemical complex was producing the nerve agent. His measurements revealed that the concentration of the deadly substances were 80 times above safety levels. He was arrested and charged with treason by the Russian military, thus somewhat confirming the existence of the Novichok nerve agents. Mazinov was subsequently released as none of the information he had revealed, including formulas, locations, or testing sites, was considered to be new to the Soviet press. He actually revealed the fact that generals were lying about the production of chemical weapons. Mazianov currently resides in the US. Novichok 5 and Novichok 7 were reportedly five to eight times more potent than VX, although this was never proven. Novichok acted in a similar way by inhibiting acetylcholine and causing death by suffocation or heart failure. They were dispersed as an ultrafine powder instead of a liquid or gas. Some of the agents were developed as binary weapons, meaning that the precursors for the nerve agents were made into a mixture right before their use and usually consisted of substances a lot less dangerous than the agents themselves. This made the weapon easier to handle, transport, and stabilize, which also increased the weapon's shelf life. This leads to painful second-degree burns, which blister. Left without proper medical attention, they become a source of infection, which complicates the scarring and loss of function. Irons should always be turned off immediately when not in use, and children especially should be reminded of its dangers and the fact that it takes a while to cool down after being switched off.